can either of you guys do one without uh, just with your mouth? No, not really. I can. Can you? Yeah. You want to hear it? Yeah, give us a demo. <laughs> Josh tries. You reckon that'll work alright? No, uh, I don't, don't know if it will. No. <laughs> I've been practicing all morning. Come on, here we go. Good girl. This is what I call dedication. Oh, come on, you gotta take your top off too, mate. Okay, good luck. The bad boy said, oh jeez. Ooh. This is where you need a Labrador dog. I'll tell you, your manhood's probably shriveled up and disappeared and got up inside you somewhere by now. Simon? Yeah. Good retrieve it. Yeah, there's your pokes. Oh, that's cold. Keen as. You shot. So, you missed. What went wrong? Well, <laughs> did a bit of research on the chokes. Um, and because the steel shot's got a longer wad in it than the uh, lead's got so I thought I'd widen up a bit but oh, yeah. obviously that didn't really work too much for me today um, but yeah that's hunting yeah it is hunting it's life it's a trial and error yeah. it was uh, never ever goes like your plan A eh? nah. if, it, if it did you'd be constantly catching and no one does exactly uh, Simon here has shot me two pukekos oh and a duck so I'm going to endeavour to make these into a feed, contrary to what people think. Um, you uh, can eat pukeko. While I'm yakking about this, uh, Simon's got his own channel. What's the name of the channel, Simon? Wild Places, Wild Game. Wild Places, Wild Game. So check it out. And uh, from what I've had a look at so far, it's done really well. And what can you expect to see on that channel, mate? Me and Cam and both our partners, Sarah and Lisa. Yeah. Um, getting out amongst it, really. Okay. Hunting, fishing, outdoors. Any more nudie shots like today? No, nah, we'll, we'll see how that edit goes. What about nudie shots of Cam, you know, something for the ladies? Nah. No? Nah? No. Nah. God help us. Okay, well thanks guys. Appreciate that. Cool. <laughs> it was good fun. Thanks for coming. Nice to meet you too. I love ducks, or at least duck. Duck is my favourite meat of all meats. So much in fact I keep ducks at home. I used to have peking ducks. Trouble was that they were so delicious, I actually cooked them all and ate the whole lot and I've got none left. Those are Muscovy ducks, the uh, black and white ones there and the white one. So, um, duck being on the menu and also pukeko, uh, there's an old saying in New Zealand we've got to, uh, you get a pukeko, you throw it in the pot with a boot, cook it for 12 hours, then throw away the uh, 
puke and eat the boot. But you know, it's again another misunderstood meat. Done properly, pukeko can taste really good. Now to take your uh, your breast meat off, put your puke on the ground, face down, legs spread out like that. Get your boot as close to the leg as you can. If you don't get it right up, you'll break the leg when you do this. So you want to hold it really close. And then get your wings apart and feel where they are. You're going to tilt them back slightly so the breast is pulling up and you just pull straight up. And there she is and you see all that nice yellow fat. So you just get your fingers in there like that and then pull it back. And they're off there now like that. It's pretty quick. And that's what we're left with. Two breasts stuck together like a butterfly sort of. Oh, these legs here are going to be okay. And the easiest way to deal with this is just take the skin straight off. So you put your finger in there or anywhere you can. It's a bit like doing a rabbit. It comes up pretty easy, as you'll see. There we go, skin off already. How quick's that? You can see the uh, thighs actually. You know what, we're pretty, pretty much intact. So skin's off the thigh and I just want to separate this uh, big bone from the inside. Snap that back and put my knife in and that'll... It'll come away pretty easy. Actually broke when I was putting my boot on it. It's off there now. So there's my thigh meat there basically. That's one thigh there. Poke it on the plate. So out of two pukekos, what I ended up with was a couple of breasts. Um, this one got a bit shot, but it'll be okay for the stew. And uh, we've got three thighs. One was a bit too shot up. So not bad. Bit and throwing it away, eh? Gonna make this into a stew now. I'm gonna use some kiwi fruit and some virgin olive oil to marinate my pukiko flesh for about two hours before I start cooking. Right, I'll quickly go through these ingredients. What I've got here is uh, three onions, some kiwi fruit, I've got a couple there, uh, olive oil, I'm using Rosie's olive oil, tomato sauce, or as my old man used to call it, tucker fucker, one tomato, I've got some roasted peppers. I'm also using a uh, fresh capsicum, some tomato paste, I'll probably just use one of those, some dried mushrooms, some red wine, any red wine will do, and uh, some oregano, uh, parsley, fresh is better if you've got some, but there's none in the garden right now, so I'm using that. Uh, normal uh, paprika, that one there, and I'm also using smoked paprika, and I've got some stock. My marinade's uh, been going for a couple of hours, and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep the kiwi fruit, I'm going to put that in the stew because kiwi fruit stews up really well. So I've heated some olive oil in the skillet. You can use anything you like. Duck fat's actually quite good, but uh, this will do me. So I'm browning my pukeko in the pan. Keep it nice and separate so it's not touching each other. That'll ensure it's nice and brown when it comes out. Uh, another ingredient that's a real must is the old garlic. I whack in like four cloves, but probably two is enough, but you can go crazy on that as much as you like. Make sure you heat your pan or whatever you're browning your onions in first. I've got my oil in there and uh, I've just stuck the yellow pepper in on top of that. A bit of garlic. Stir that in. Now I want some tomato paste to go in there. About three tablespoons of tomato paste. A couple of good squirts of the old tucker fucker just for good measure. One tomato on top of that. So I've got three roasted capsicums here. Lots of red stuff. Dried mushroom can go on top. Mix your dried mushrooms in well. Make sure you give the bottom of the pan a good nudge. Get that uh, sort of brown film on the bottom. That's where it's caramelised. That's real sweet, good tasting stuff. So give that a good scrape with the old wooden spoon. Oh, she's starting to smell good. Mm. Now you can put your red wine in. Don't forget to sample it, make sure it's actually okay. Hell yeah. Lots of red stuff. You see it's starting to thicken up a bit now. When the red wine hits that tomato paste, it's like boom. Reaction, get that nice, thick, stewy look. Just smell it. Make sure you burnt all the alcohol off the wine. Then you can start hoofing your 
Il n'y a plus qu'un en there. The only bones you're going to have to remove later on are the ones out of the thighs. And don't forget to add all your juices that you originally browned your pukeko meat in. On top of that, I'm going to get my marinade, which is my kiwi fruit. And that'll stew up really well. Bit of ground paprika, be quite liberal with that. Don't be shy. Heaps. And with the smoke, paprika not so much, because it's a pretty strong flavour that. Just a couple of shots like that, and it'll be sweet. Bit of parsley. And I'm going to whack some oregano in too. Give her a mix up. Now we're going to add our stock. Last time I made this, I used venison stock from fellow deer that I've made myself, but I haven't got any right now, so I've used this beef stock. And I whack the whole lot on. So I've got my stock in. I'm now going to cover that and leave it. I'll come and test the meat after a couple of hours. And as with wild game, you never know how long it's going to take before it starts to break down. Depends on the bird, depends on the life it had, the fat content, the age of it, its condition. So I'm going to pop a lid on that. Go run my dogs and come back and check it in another hour or two. Right, she's been going for an hour, I'm just going to check it. That's good, the meat's covered. Make sure your meat stays covered. You can add a bit of water or a bit more stock of it. Uh, starts to sort of evaporate a bit too much. Oh, he's just turned up to my place to help me eat the stew. What are you making? I'm making sweet grits for goes with uh, your stew. Mmm, well, you've had pukiko before, haven't you? Yeah, once. Yeah, what did you think of it? It's been so good. Okay, oh, we'll see how this goes. It's been in there three and a half hours and I reckon we can uh, start getting into it. How hungry are you? I'm very hungry. Mm, I'm hungry. I can't believe I forgot to turn the camera on. I was so hungry. I just cooking this and being cold all day. And I just started tucking into it and I said, hold on a minute, we're making a YouTube clip. I haven't, I haven't filmed it. How is it? <laughs> Honest. The meat is so tender. I can't believe people that will like it. Mm. And flavour is beautiful. Mm. Yeah. That there's a piece of pukiko there, meat right there, and it is just really tender because it's been cooked for three and a half, nearly four hours. Mm. Mm. I didn't have any white flour. All I had was wholemeal flour, and now we made a bread out of that, which is going really well, eh? Mm -hmm. So that's actually something new for us. By um, experiment, you want to serve it up with a bit of bread, though. It goes with it. A really good dish. You've been out hunting all day, freezing cold, a good winter dish. I'm going to serve this up to mates and not tell them what it is. They won't know if it's venison, here. they have no idea. You wouldn't know, would you? In two words, bloody good. Anyway, uh, good luck with your own hunting. Hope you enjoyed the clip. Don't forget to leave a comment. If you do, particularly make your own pukeko, let me know how you got on with it. And if you made it this far through the video without falling asleep, give it a like. Be good. If you can't be good, be careful. Mm. Oh, I just got a, I just got a bullet. <laughs>